FASPI, Fellowships at Auschwitz for the Study of Professional Ethics, is a remarkable, intense two-week program that challenges professional school students to confront the ethical issues of their professions through study at notorious sites of Holocaust history. It's a question of what role the professionals played in the Holocaust and what can be derived from that for today's professionals. It's an experience that might sort of speak to what's coming from your soul rather than from your head. If one remains silent long enough, what it is that we are critical of, we now become guilty of. By examining the role that the various professions played in the calculations that led to mass murder, and in mass murder itself, we will teach our future leaders about history and personal and professional responsibility. These things didn't happen overnight. It, didn't, it wasn't one day you were sitting at your desk and the next day you were asked to participate in mass murder. There was a process that led to that. And I think examining that process and examining the roles of the various professions um, is crucial. It is really to the everyday lapses of ethics that we are addressing this program, to contemporary issues that professionals will face immediately upon leaving graduate school. Under the auspices of the Museum of Jewish Heritage, one of the world's premier institutions of Holocaust education, and with curriculum designed in collaboration with Yale, Columbia, and Georgetown universities, FASB offers a unique opportunity for select students in law, medicine, seminary, journalism, and business professional schools to examine historical case studies and issues of contemporary ethics while studying in New York City, Germany, and Poland. In medical school, it's all about being a team player, being part of the team. There's a hierarchy. You are in, uh, you, you have to uh, listen to uh, the person directly ahead of you. Well, in Nazi Germany, that went awry, didn't it? And so much of this experience of FASB is, is visceral, and it makes it very difficult to look at things with that sort of distance. The way that we write about genocide today, the way, that, the way that we write about corruption, uh, the way that we hold people accountable. These are eternal lessons. So what happened then, I think, has lessons for all time. You can walk through your life and think of yourself as good and do very terrible things. So you really have to decide at any moment when you're interacting with every patient, what is good right now. It's hard to imagine the person isn't changed in some way, that the person isn't more thoughtful about certain ethical questions, that the person isn't more doubting at times of the implications of what they're, of what they're doing. This will be a, an important reminder to them that the issues they're dealing with are not simply matters of technique, but that they are matters of character and, and commitment. FASB offers a new approach to examining professional ethics. The power of place and site-specific engagement challenge the next generation to question the consequences of their actions, to recognize their own responsibilities, to live their professional and personal lives informed by what they have studied and seen at authentic sites of this powerful history. The Fellowships at Auschwitz for the Study of Professional Ethics.